So welcome everybody. This is week one of the four week prenatal workshop. Um, and this is just a really beautiful time for you to connect to your body, to yourself, with your baby, or if you're not pregnant yet or just delivered, a time for you to really plant those seeds, heal, and um, prepare yourself for the next chapter of your life. So just a few things I wanted to go over. Of course, number one is safety. Um, our bodies are releasing relaxin when we are pregnant and you think you can go a little bit further since you're so flexible um, and your body's preparing for labor. So sometimes we can overdo it. Please only go 75 to 80% of your capacity and not much further so that you're, you're really not overdoing it for the next day or later in the day. Um, and really please don't try to follow along and, and keep up with the class. This is meant to be for everybody. So again, don't push yourself, really listen to your body. Um, we all have a whole lot of different things going on between work, other children or personal stuff and just what our body is feeling at that time. Week one, you may be able to do a lot and week two, you may have crazy heartburn and not want to do anything. So listen to your body and don't push yourself. Um, I have some funny stories I'll tell you later about pushing myself with heartburn and a forward fold. Um, and then also some props. So a bolster, these are all really nice and are great for you to deepen your practice, but absolutely not necessary. And I'll give you alternatives for all of them. So a bolster is really nice um, to be able to feel supported, especially in Shavasana at the end but you don't need this you can just get a really nice pillow or um, even like a couch pillow is is really great for this blocks i do highly recommend if you're going to do yoga at any point in your life um, especially if you're going to continue for all four weeks these are very cheap on amazon they're ten dollars with a strap um, shipped straight to your house and they really allow you to get deep into the pose without overextending yourself or feeling a lot of weight being pulled from the belly and the back. So if nothing else, you can even go to five below. This yoga mat is from five below and I've just stacked two or three to keep my knees really comfortable. So for $15, you can have like a full yoga set and feel super supported. I do use the blocks quite a bit because when the belly really starts to get big and in the front, it's hard for you to get really deep into poses. Um, you don't have to have three mats, of course. You can also do this on a carpet, but this does help you not slip. And the extra mats just have extra comfort for the knees and the wrists if you're feeling a little bit tender. Uh, the only other thing I really recommend is, um, in this obviously, anything that you have at home, even some towels, something to sit on or something to kneel on. So when you're in tabletop or any pose that's on hands and knees, it'll give you a little bit more support in this area. So if you wanted to take a minute, we can pause right here and you can grab any of those props that you have. And if not, we will continue.
also love socks, blanket, sweatshirt. While you're in Shavasana, we will be doing the meditation later. You can always get that later once we start as well, if you feel called to it, depending on where you live. And then um, also keeping a chair or a wall close by. So if you're ever in a pose that you feel a little unstable in, you can be supported by the wall or the chair. So to give you an example, let's say if we were kind of grabbing our ankle and bending forward, you can see I'm a little unstable. You might be nervous to fall over. Your weight might be uneven. So by holding onto a wall, planting your hand, and then releasing, you're now really supported, nice and stable. You could also do that with a chair, having a chair with a back on it, grabbing it, holding it, and moving forward. Um, so a wall or a chair, and of course water if you ever feel lightheaded or um you know hot whatever just really make sure you listen to your body have water close by and then lastly really creating and setting up a time and a space for yourself that's really sacred for the next couple of weeks or whenever you do yoga because you're not just doing the yoga you're connecting your mind and your body, you're connecting to your baby, you're creating this sacred space, you're pumping your body full of oxygen. And really take that time, if you're gonna do it, to create a space where you can release and unwind. You can really surrender. Maybe light some incense or a candle. Have your phone on Do Not Disturb so that you can be really, really present with me here today. So now, if you want to come to a seated position, whatever is comfortable for you, I like to elevate myself so there's not a lot of pressure on the lower part of my belly. Um, he hangs a little bit low, so it's hard for me, and I also feel like I hunch over more. So by elevating yourself, your knees can be even you, if you have a block, you can even sit up on a block, bolster, pillow, uh, blankets, towels, absolutely anything. And if you're watching this later, you can always just pause the video and grab those things so you can really create the perfect class for yourself. So just taking a seat and just tuning into the body allowing your eyes to come to a gentle close listening to the breath in the body feeling the rise and fall of the chest and the belly and like the cocoon you've created for your baby with the placenta. Imagine a cocoon of this beautiful pink and green light around you. This is your sacred space. This is your safe space. This is where you can feel all the mom feels. This is where you don't get shamed for having fluctuating hormones and emotions. This is where it's okay to feel anxious and scared. This is okay for you to feel super excited and unapologetic for being pregnant and happy. This is a space where you get to be in awe of your body for creating life and having this beautiful opportunity. And this is a space for you to be frustrated with your body and the pain and the growth and the adjustments. And this is a space where you can feel all of those things and more simultaneously. This is a space where you can cry and laugh. And 
And most importantly, this is a place where you can send this beautiful baby, this unborn, unmet physically, externally, beautiful soul, all the love that you can. So we're going to do something called three part breath. As you inhale, feel the belly filling and then the chest and then holding it at the top of the throat and then gently releasing from the throat, the chest and the belly. So we're going to inhale through the nose exhale through the nose and make your breath really nice and slow almost imagining as if you were pulling up this loving energy from your baby into the heart into the throat and then sending it back this loving beautiful energy back Before we create labels and identities and circumstances for this baby, before it becomes anything, a boy or a girl, a name, a gender, religion, just taking the time to appreciate it and connect to it, feel who it is. Feeling your whole body fill up with love as you pull up. The oxygen filling your chest. Bringing the energy up towards your head. And then on your exhale, sending all of that and more back. Now with your eyes still closed, just following along with my voice, we're going to do an inhale for four, hold for two, exhale for four, hold for two. Change your breath according to what's comfortable for you in your lungs and the baby. Breathing in and out through the nose and if at any point this is uncomfortable, just going back to that inhale and exhale at your own pace. We're going to inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, two, in, one, two, three, four, hold, two, out, two, three, four, hold, two, in, one, two, three, four, hold, two, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three more at your own pace, in for four, hold for two, out for four, Hold for two.
quite a lot of washing on there. You might want to keep some tissues too. <laughs> and then when we are done just coming to a normal and easy breath, maybe placing your hands on your belly and just thinking of an intention for today. An intention can be just a small mantra for the day. It could be a plan. It could be something you want to do. It could be just sending out love and light to your baby. The mantra can be surrender. It can be release and soften. It can be patience or love. And then from here, trying to keep your eyes closed whenever you get comfortable in a pose to really go within and feel your body, connect your body within. We're gonna bring our hands out to the sides on the floor next to us, so by our hips. We're gonna bring our palms facing up and we're gonna inhale our arms up, palms together overhead for the whole length of the inhale. And then we're gonna take our palms, face them out towards the wall, and then exhale the whole duration of the exhale down. Inhale up. Nice and slow, slowing down your breath, slowing down your body, exhale down. Just warming up the arms, warming up the spine. And then if you're comfortable here, closing your eyes as you just follow your breath in your body. You might even wanna bring your head with you now. Inhale, head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin to chest. Nice and slow. Warming up the neck and the spine. Two more at your own pace. And coming to neutral, bringing your arms out next to you. So kind of like a scarecrow. We're gonna just do a few circles backwards. Make them as big or small as you want. This is exhausting for me with my toddler. <laughs> so just maybe up to five or seven and then going in the opposite direction. And bringing your arms down, just even feeling that and, and being really gentle and loving with yourself if that felt heavy to you. And then from here, we're gonna bring our hands to our knees and then start to come into the neck. So we're gonna drop our right ear to our right shoulder. If this is deep enough for you, you're not lifting your shoulder to meet your ear, you're not tensing in the shoulder, drop the shoulders down, relax the body, and just gently let your head hang to the right. And then if you want it to go deeper, you can bring your left hand out next to you onto the floor. Allow your fingertips to touch. If they don't touch, you could even bring a block down and allow your hands to come to your block just to deepen that stretch on the left. And then if you wanted to go even deeper, you can bring your right hand over your left ear, gently applying just a touch of pressure making sure your back is straight, your neck is straight, you're not jumping forward, you're really elongating the neck. So opening at the chest, opening in the shoulders. Nice deep breaths, feeling the belly expanding and contracting. Then releasing the hand if it's there, releasing the neck, coming to center very carefully, very gently, not to pull anything. 
And then taking your left hand over your ear or just gently placing your left ear towards your left shoulder, dropping the shoulders down. Seeing how this feels before we go to the next. One side is always different than the other. You wanted to bring the right hand down next to you or the left hand over the right ear or head, just applying a touch of pressure to deepen the stretch. Breathing here, nice and gentle, slowing down. Being aware of where the mind goes when there's silence and time, when you slow down. And every time the mind wanders, which it will, just bring it back to this present moment and connect to your breath and the sensations in the body. Releasing your arm, releasing your neck very gently. We're gonna bring our chin to our chest. You want to just do a gentle rocking back and forth, releasing here. Maybe taking your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers and opening in the chest and the shoulders as your neck is down, your chin is down towards your chest. With everything changing in our chest, this is a great release to open up, make space in the lungs. And then from here, gently bringing your chin towards the ceiling, releasing as you bring your head all the way up. You can release your hands if that's uncomfortable or keep it here. Opening and closing the mouth, stretching the neck out, releasing the jaw, maybe rolling your jaw back and forth. I used to grind my teeth a lot. If you're feeling anxious or tense, this is a great way to release. And then gently coming to neutral, placing your hands on your knees. If you're sitting on anything, I recommend you take that out just for a brief moment as we come into some full body circles. So from here, we're gonna inhale forward, exhale backwards, bringing the chin to chest for a full circle, warming up the spine, warming up the body, making your circles as big or small as you want. If you're feeling a pull or tension in the belly, just make your circles nice and small. And then maybe one or two more rounds here, following your breath. And you'll go in the opposite direction. Nice internal massage. If you need to use the restroom at any point, please feel free to do so and just hop on back. All right, we're coming to neutral. When you're done with your circles, we're gonna just stretch out the wrists and the arms for a moment. Go ahead and take your arms straight out, your hands as if you're pushing up against a wall. And we're gonna bring our fingertips down and then up. Just very conscious movement, flexing your fingertips, releasing any tension in the wrists. And then in circles one way, and then the other. And then go ahead and place your right hand out. Your left hand will come around those right fingertips as we stretch your thumb, pulling your thumb back towards you, releasing in the wrist here.
dropping down the fingertips, the back side of the hand. Good job. And then the other side, left hand goes out, pulling the back the fingertips back towards you, the thumb back towards you. And then your fingertips down, releasing here. Rolling out the wrists and then gently coming to tabletop. So we're going to bring our knees. If you have that blanket, this is a great time to put that little blanket down to support your knees or a towel. And you're gonna bring your knees hip distance apart or enough for, to make space for your belly. The tops of your feet are down towards the mat. And really ensuring that you're stable and supported here. Your wrists come down, shoulders, elbows, and wrists are aligned. And you're pushing down into all 10 fingers, ensuring that you're not just leaning into one hand or the back of the wrists. From here, we're gonna inhale up, gaze towards the ceiling, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale up, and during pregnancy, you have a natural curvature of the back, which can become quite tense. So focus more on your exhale, making that more prominent, curving that back, pulling the belly in to release the pressure in our mid and lower back. So you don't even have to super hyperextend and look towards the ceiling on your inhale. You can just go naturally and then exhale, making that really prominent. And then one more. And then coming to neutral, planting down into your hands, making sure you're nice and stable. We're gonna lean into the left leg a little bit, releasing the right knee to ensure that you're nice and stable here, if that feels okay for you. And then on your inhale, you're gonna just gently lift the right knee out, opening up in the hips, creating space here a fire hydrant, but not super prominent. You're not really, really bringing out that right leg and making these serious glutes. You don't even have to look back, just looking forward and gently lifting that right knee. On your inhale and exhale, opening up in the hips, making space here, building some strength. And then taking a moment to come to neutral, shifting your weight slightly to the right as we lift on the left side. Inhaling and exhaling, taking your time. Great job. You can even just look down between your fingers to stabilize here. All right, coming to neutral. We're gonna inhale our right arm up, gaze follows. Exhale, thread your arm through the left side. You might wanna widen your knees here and bring your left hand up towards the top of your mat, gently bringing your head down, releasing here. If you had a block, you can place your block underneath your head if you needed more space for the belly. And allow your knees to come as far as they need. Maybe bringing your big toes together. You can keep your left hand extended or place the forearm down and then just breathe here. This is a nice gentle spinal twist. And close your eyes. We'll take three deep breaths here. And 
And then when you're ready, bring your left hand towards you, planting your left hand, pushing into the ground as you lift up, releasing your right hand. If you wanted to keep your knees extended and apart, keep your knees extended to make room for that baby. And then inhale your left hand up towards the ceiling, opening up in the chest. Exhale, bringing that arm through that right arm, bringing the right hand up towards the top of your mat, your head down or on a pillow or a block. And then release in here, allowing your forearm to come down on the right side. Opening up in the hips, breathe in here. If you're further along and don't get to sleep on your belly anymore, this feels so nice if you're used to sleeping on your stomachs. Three more deep, full breaths. You can close your eyes and surrender, soften. And then bringing that right hand towards you, planting down, pushing the floor away as you lift up and come on to your knees. Great job. If you want to take a break for a moment, get a sip of water, you can do that. And then just to kind of show you what we're going to be doing next, you're going to plant down into your knees your feet comfortably apart or bring them together for stability. And we're going to inhale our arms up, head to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're going to keep your right hand at the ceiling. You're going to bring your left hand behind you as your gaze follows, looking over your left shoulder. And you're going to either put a block back here or grabbing onto your heel if you are comfortable. And then looking forward, your hand towards the ceiling, opening up in this gentle back bend, releasing in the belly. There's so much weight that comes forward that this is a great gentle back bend. So if you're going further and placing your hand on your heels, it's going to be a little bit deeper. If you want to make it a little bit softer, place that block down next to you. Looking up, just breathing here, stabilizing, building strength. And then looking back over your left shoulder again, gently releasing your hand, bringing your hand up towards the ceiling. Inhale here, and then exhale over your right shoulder, placing that block down or placing your heel, your hand on your heel. And then once you're stable and comfortable, bringing your gaze back up towards the ceiling, opening the chest on the other side. And looking over that right shoulder, releasing your arm. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, arms down. From here, you're going to bring your left knee in a little bit to just stabilize. And then maybe plant your hands down if you feel comfortable or if you feel stable enough. Bring your right foot out next to you. And then from here, we're going to lift up so our right foot is out and we're on our left knee. Stabilize in that right foot, stabilize in that left knee. Inhale, both your arms up. Exhale, bend towards your right foot, placing your hands on your thigh, your knee, your shin. If you have a block, even on the block, you can even go onto your heel and point your toes towards the ceiling as we lean over to the right. Breathe here. Allow this to be nice and deep in your inner thigh, behind your leg. Ensuring that you're opening in the chest, 
and not dumping forward. You won't feel the stretch here. You want to open in the chest so that you can get a nice stretch into your side body and on the underside of your right leg. Your gaze at the ceiling or at your fingertips. And then planting that foot down, if it's not down, pushing up. And then planting your hands down onto the floor. As you gently bring your right knee in, shift your weight, give your hips a second to adjust. And then put your right knee down and bring your left leg out. Bringing that block with you if you wanted it on this side. Inhale your arms up, exhale, bending to the left side now, allowing your hand to fall wherever it goes, and then rolling that right shoulder back as you open from the chest, and feeling the difference when you bring your shoulder in and look down, the stretch and the quality that you get, versus when you open and look up, breathing here, making space in the body, few deep breaths. And then gently releasing your hands down, bringing your left knee in. And then from here, we're gonna plant our hands at the top corners of the mat for downward dog. Tucking the toes under, we're gonna lift up Plant our feet, your heels don't need to come down as we just go in for a quick down dog, stretching out the legs, pushing back, breathing here, and then looking forward between your fingers and gently walking your feet up to the top of the mat. Bring your blocks with you if you have them. And then we're going to do an inhale, bringing our arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to do two rounds of a modified sun salutation here. If you're feeling and experiencing sciatic pain or severe heartburn, please don't go into too many forward folds as you'll feel a little bit more discomfort. So go really gentle and make sure you're not going too deep. If you've had sciatic pain, you might not feel it today and you might aggravate it. So just go gentle and not really too deep. So we're gonna inhale our arms up with a nice gentle back bend, really soft. And then exhale, bending the knees, forward fold. Bending the knees so the whole top of the body comes down your hands can come to your blocks or your shins, wherever they fall or the floor, widening the feet, making space for the belly. From here, if your hands are on your block, you're gonna inhale halfway up or place your hands onto your shins or your thighs. Inhale halfway up for a stretch in the back of the legs and then exhale, bend your knees, forward fold for the release in your lower back. From here, we're gonna plant our hands, get nice and stable, kind of squatting down, and then step one foot back, then the other for a quick plank, stabilizing in the hands, making sure the hands, you might wanna drop your knees too, hands, elbows and shoulders are aligned, and then just coming into a plank, looking forward, just quick plank, and then pushing our hips towards the ceiling for downward dog. Inhale, look forward, walk your feet up nice and gentle. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, inhale, hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to prayer at chest. Adjusting the hips, taking a moment to just feel the sensations in the body. 
for one more. This is our peak. It'll be over soon. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Slight gentle back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Just taking your time, making sure you don't come down too fast, bending the knees. And then inhale, halfway up, releasing the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Planting the hands, bending the knees, squatting down a little bit so that you're stable and can walk one leg back, then the other into plank. Shifting your weight forward, your gaze forward. And then exhale, downward dog, hips to the ceiling, adjust your feet, looking back at your toes. And then on your next inhale, shifting your gaze between your fingers, walking your feet up. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, inhale all the way up. Hands to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart. Great job. Oh, gathering your breath. Feeling that nice gentle workout while strengthening and lengthening. And from here, if you wanted to grab your chair or wall support, or just make sure that as you transition into some stabilizing poses, that you have something to hold on to as our gravity is off. So plant your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. And your hands come to hips. Taking a moment to open at the chest, ground here. And then bend your right knee as you pop your left hip and shift into your left hip for your weight. Once you feel stable and connected here, gently raise your right foot. Come onto your toes and then walk your toes over to your ankle or your calf, or your inner thigh. Once you're stable here, only when you're stable here, you want to find your drishti, your focus point in front of you. So find something in front of you that you can stare at, centering your breath, centering your body. And from here, you'll bring your hands to heart. You can stay here or bring your hands back to your hips at any time. And if you wanted, envisioning yourself as this beautiful tree rooting down as your arms come up, as the limbs of the tree, as you begin to bear this beautiful fruit, stabilizing, lengthening, strengthening, keeping your focal point, steadiness in the mind, steadiness in the body, and then releasing the way that you came in. So hands to heart, taking a breath here hands to hips, finding that patience, gently releasing the foot. Patience for the unpredictable, the unknown, the balance that we'll soon have to do of work and life and baby and body. Prioritizing and listening, slowing down Planting your right foot, shifting your weight into the right foot, hands to hips, finding that focal point in front of you, something to stare at, a beautiful gentle smile on your face. As you lift up your left foot, planting it wherever is comfortable, just not on the knee itself. Deep breath here, and then your hands can come to heart. Being kind and patient and gentle with yourself as you root out excellent job your next inhale hands to heart to hips, gently releasing your foot, <sighs> shifting 
shifting your weight and your hips, just rocking back and forth, opening, maybe doing a figure eight here with your hands on your belly. Giving yourself a second, feeling your body now versus when you started. Allowing the sensations, emotions to arise that need to be heard, felt, and seen. And then from here, we're going to take our hands behind us and just open up in the chest. Bring your arms out, your hands out, opening here, opening in the chest. Head to chat, chin to ceiling. Maybe even rocking back and forth as if the sun was beating on you with a beautiful breeze. Releasing the shoulders, bringing your arms in. And then if you're at a wall, have the wall close by, or we're gonna go ahead and plant our left foot down. Our left hand will come out in front of us to stabilize us, shifting so that your right toes can come up while you're still stable in the left side of your body, and grab the right toes if you can. And just lifting here, opening here. If you have a chair or a wall, this is where you would grab the wall and open in here once you're comfortable. And if you wanted to go even further, very gently, not leaning too much because your belly is already pulling you down, your gaze is straight ahead, your arms are straight ahead, you can just gently tilt forward. Breathe here for three deep breaths. And then releasing your foot, releasing your hand, coming to the other side, planting your hand on a wall or a chair, shifting your weight into your right side, left hand to left foot, and releasing the wall, checking if this side feels comfortable before you go any further, and leaning forward. Nice stretch in the tops of the legs. Gazes up forward. Finding that focal point. Your left hand releases, bringing your foot down. Right arm comes down. Great job. And then from here, if you're up against a wall or up against a stable chair, that would be great. We'll bring our legs as wide as we can. Our heels come in, our toes come out. We put our hands to prayer. And then your next exhale, inhale in. Exhale, begin to squat down. And when you squat down now and hold this, don't go so deep. You can stay kind of elevated. Your hands can even come to your inner thighs as you open your chest. Maybe close your eyes as you really begin to prepare for birth. Maybe envision what it feels like and what it would look like. The emotions, the stories that arise with this, the feelings and sensations as you open up in your body. You can come up at any time, releasing. And then going back down whenever is comfortable. Just giving your body this opportunity to open up when are we ever in these positions that we're expected to hold in birth for so long. And then if it's comfortable and you have blocks, you can bring your blocks closer to you. Is on your next one, you come all the way down. So adjust your feet until you're comfortable. Shifting your weight, coming into Malasana. So finding what's comfortable for you and your body, your hands can come out, or to prayer, or to block, or together in a fist, 
and just taking a few deep breaths here. If it becomes too much, you can shift your weight back and forth in your feet. And then when you feel comfortable holding here, getting your hips and your glutes and your body and your belly all used to opening in this way. And planting your hands down, you can come to your knees. <clears throat> Bringing your knees mat distance apart as wide as you can, your big toes together as you come down for child's pose. Head to mat or bringing a block and bringing your forehead to your block. Releasing here a few really deep breaths for all the work that you've just done. The workout, the strengthening, the surrendering. And then from here, lifting your head up, planting your hands down next to you. We're gonna bring our knees in slightly, our hands to the tops of the mat. And then you wanna walk your right knee towards your right wrist and your left leg out as you open up here for pigeon pose. If you have your blocks, bring your blocks with you to make space for the belly. Opening up here, maybe even chin to ceiling. Making sure your hips are centered, you're not dumping into the right side. Once you're comfortable, your blocks can go one level down. And we're gonna hang out here for a breath or two. Bringing a gentle smile to your face. This is intense, but it's so yummy. releasing any sciatic pain you might have, any glutes or lower pain, as our body adjusts and shifts in so many ways. Any tightness you might feel, just breathing into that. I can stay in this pose forever. So bringing your hands down to your blocks, pushing up so you have some space, tucking your left toes behind you, and then shifting your knee forward so you come up a little bit, enough to release your right foot to come to an adjusted tabletop in this way. And then your left knee comes to left wrist, your right leg comes out. Staying elevated here, changing your block so that you have a moment to just adjust. Opening in the chest, looking at the ceiling, breathing here. Remembering not to push too deep if this is enough, honor that and stay here. One side will always be different. And then if you're ready, you can bring your blocks down and come a little bit further down. Bring your head down, release here for three deep breaths. Maybe more, whatever feels good for you. Your right leg nice and strong, straight behind you. Your hip centered. Breathing here. And then whenever you're ready, planting your hands down, walking that right knee in as you bend your toes. 
coming to tabletop and then bringing your hips back. You can keep your blocks in the center of your mat as we gently bring our legs around and our legs straight out in front of us. We really begin to wind down now, keeping space between the legs nice and open. Taking a moment to adjust in the hips, see what's comfortable. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Allowing your hands to come wherever they are. Keeping space for that baby, that belly. Today, if this is all you go, this is great. Allow your head to drop down and just hang out here. Maybe after a breath or two and an exhale, you can go a little bit deeper. I also recommend maybe putting one block down and the other one on top of it, creating even more length. This is what's good for me. And then my head can come down and I can really soften here. Could even do it like this so it's even higher. This is perfect for me. And having enough space in the belly while having a nice stretch behind my legs. It's also a great third eye massage. <laughs> Gently walking your head back, your hands back, gently lifting up. I'm going to keep my blocks like this. Bring my right leg right in front of me, nice and straight. And I'm going to bring the left foot in towards my thigh. I'm going to adjust my hips. Bring the blocks in close to my right, between my right calf and my knee. I'm going to inhale all the way up, lengthening in the spine, looking at the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, head to blocks, or wherever it falls. You could even grip your big toe with two fingers, flexing your foot, pulling your foot back towards you if it reaches, or on your ankle, your calf, wherever it goes. And allow yourself to surrender here, feeling a nice stretch behind your leg. Point and flex the toe, release in the feet here. Maybe wiggle your toes. And gently releasing the head, bringing the arms back. We bring our right foot in, our left foot out. Adjust the weight. So shift in the hips, left leg comes straight out straight out in front of you. Right foot is in. Take a moment. If you need a glass of water, sip. Take a sip of water. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Gently raising up, moving the blocks off to the sides, one on each side. And then if you're comfortable laying on your back, depending on where you are in your pregnancy, you can lay flat back, coming back, taking your time, or you aren't comfortable on your back, planting your feet, planting your hands behind you, your fingertips facing away from you, and your toes facing away from you. 
and allow yourself to open up in the hips here and just rock back and forth. If you can come all the way down and you're comfortable doing so for a little while, plant your feet down, your elbows slowly come down as you gently release, bringing your knees in, feeling supported before you begin to release to ensure you don't get hurt. As you slowly exhale and bring your knees to your right side, your head is facing forward, your shoulders are planted and your knees gently fall to the right. You can take a block and place it under your right knee if your right knee doesn't come all the way down to help you feel supported and really release in your hips and not be gripping in the belly. Breathing here, relaxing here. And then gently raising the center one leg at a time, making sure the back is okay. Adjusting in the hips. And then your next exhale, dropping your knees to your left, shoulders are planted. Maybe your hands are on your belly. Breathe in here. Gently bringing the knees up. If you're comfortable laying here, you can grab some pillows and keep yourself supported up. If you do have a bolster, you can set your bolster up where you have the long, the one block behind, straight up, up and down. Another block slightly in front of it short side down and then you would take your bolster place it over place some weight on it make sure you're nice and stable and then bringing your hips back towards your bolster you can begin walking back releasing here getting a blanket covering your body your legs can be out or the soles of your feet together hands on belly or hands out facing up Maybe putting some layers on, some socks and some pants. <laughs> I hope you're wearing pants, <laughs> some socks and a sweatshirt. <laughs> and just relaxing here, gently closing your eyes, allowing the sounds of the bowls to soothe your baby. The vibrations caused by the bowls go through our whole body. Our body is a minimum of 70% water, but the baby is floating in water. So this is a beautiful, beautiful thing for the baby. So gently close your eyes and allow yourself to just completely relax and unwind at this time in deep surrender.
Allowing yourself to gently bring your awareness to the breath in the body. Back to the rise and fall of the chest. So much gratitude to yourself for making time in the day to care for you as you care for this baby. Nurturing yourself so that you can nurture this beautiful baby growing inside of you. Keeping this calm and this peace with you throughout the day. Or knowing that this moment is always accessible to you to tap into when you're feeling anything other than this. Coming back to this moment, creating this calm and stillness within yourself. Slowly bringing energy into the body by beginning to move your hands and your feet and taking your time, your very sweet time, to slowly get up. Or you can stay here and continue to lay and rest as you bring your hands to heart, hands to prayer, extend so much gratitude to you, so much love.